and welcome to Auto Today. Now if you're in a market for a big luxurious SUV, you have many choices. But Audi decided that you needed more choices. So it decided to bring back the Audi Q7. And I'm sure you want to know all about it. But before we go any further, do remember to subscribe to the Auto Today YouTube channel and press that little bell icon because you get notified every time we go live with a new video. Let's go ahead and check the new Q7 out. So for starters, the Q7 was always available in India. But because of the BS6 regulations, the car was discontinued. Now though, this is compliant to BS6 norms and instead of just upgrading the engine, Audi is offering various small changes to the car which makes a big difference. To start up with, we have these beautiful matrix LED lights, you get a new front grille, you get a new bumper with new inserts and overall the car looks slightly fresher than it was before. But, but, let me tell you that there are subtle changes which have been made to the rear section of the car as well which include a new tail light and a chrome strip. But let me tell you that uh, what has happened here is that the design philosophy of Audi SUVs are prevalent in the Q7 as well and what this means is that the Q7 looks unmistakably like an Audi SUV. In profile, one can check out the new 19-inch alloy wheels and the fact that the Q7 is a substantially large SUV, benefits of which are reaped once we step inside. Now inside, the Q7 looks really nice and classy. I love this piano black finish all around. This chrome treatment and the piano black make for a fantastic combination and the only drawback then is that it's a fingerprint magnet so you touch any surface and you'll leave a fingerprint uh, the other thing i really like is the symmetry in design they've done away with a lot of buttons and knobs and dials but they've left the symmetry in it now if i look at the little ac vents out there even when you're turning this around this section doesn't come down it looks like it's straight so for people who have ocd issues like me it's a fantastic feature now the infotainment system is also upgraded and it is a really good system. I like the fact that it's a nice big dash and it's a big screen and when you turn it off, which you can, the whole thing goes black. So it's black on black, you will be hard pressed to see the screen between the piano black finishes. Now once I switch it on, this unit does all the heavy lifting of the controls of the car. Now, say for example, you are driving and you want to shift into Dynamic Pro. So all you need to do is press this button, the display comes on and you select. If you want to go up, you want to go into uh, maybe comfort, you can press this button or touch. You can also use the fun same function to raise and lower the car. That's a very, very handy feature in India. And uh, especially when you are fully laden and uh, crossing those really really big C speed arms this comes as a boon uh, on the upside uh, there are certain uh, functions of the infotainment system which on the go uh, passenger or even you know driver the using those functions are a bit difficult like volume controls like if you want to turn up the volume or turn down the volume you do have an option on the steering but if your passenger wants to do it there's a knob out here so it's easier to operate gear shifter now this is a beauty when you're driving you can just hold on to this and it's a really nice unit to have overall it's a huge difference inside the audi q7 and i really really like it now the q7 also gets a full digital instrument panel and this is one of the features which i really like so uh, right now it's in a uh, normal setting where you can select what you want on the digital display like so and then if you want you can also change the views now your satellite navigation system is the prime focus and you can also change the displays and control it using the steering mounted controls this is a really nice feature to have and I just like these digital cockpits a lot. Ah, you guys are back. 
Well, we are at the back of the Q7. I have been enjoying this uh, nice video playing on these displays uh, provided by Audi. And let me tell you that uh, they have a nice rich display and uh, it provides sound also. So I was just enjoying a bit of Lamo while uh, <laughs> enjoying the car. Well, as far as the uh, rear seat of the Q7 is concerned, it's nice and spacious. The seats are large and you have a lot of movement space. So that makes things very nice. You also get a uh, climate control system where you can change the temperature as per your will and even the blower speed you also get a great big panoramic sunroof and it feels really nice like right now because it's nice Delhi winters and uh, it's nice to have the sunroof right now you also get a nice armrest which also comes with cup holders and if you want a passenger in the middle all you need to do is push this back and you have a three-seater now, uh, while the middle row is really nice and spacious, I cannot say the same for the third row because uh, there are smaller seats and the space at the back is not that great. So uh, let's say that uh, those two jump seats out there, better used for shorter commutes. Now, of course, we said that the third row of the new Q7 is not so generous, but there's more to the third row and the boot, if we may. So let's have a look. Now, as I mentioned before, the new Q7 has been given numerous functions, numerous features which make life easy for you. And uh, one of them is the electric tailgate. Now, you can open it using the key which is an electronic item or you can use a gesture function. So, all you need to do is swing your leg under the bumper of the Q7 and the tailgate opens up. Now, when the tailgate opens, you can see a huge cavernous boot. Now, um, those who know about the older Q7 would be knowing about the fact that uh, when the car was launched earlier, Audi had the great big spare wheel mounted on this side, which would mean the two rear seats, out of the two rear seats, one rear seat would never be able to be used. But now that has gone, there's no spare tire and that means you can use both the rear seats and both of them are operable electrically. So if I press this button here, you will see the seat come up electrically and here we go. Now the seats are ready to be used and if you want to fold down, again press a button and the seats will fold down. Once you are done with all of that, you have put in your luggage, you press this button out here and the tailgate closes. How convenient is that? Interesting, isn't it? In this all-new avatar, the Q7 makes use of a PS6 compliant 3-litre petrol engine which churns out 340 bhp and a rather interesting 500 Newton meters of torque. Audi claims that the new Q7 can zip to 100 kmph in just 5.9 seconds and keep on going until it hits 250 km an hour. Now don't forget that this is a big burly SUV no less. Let's begin by saying that the 6 cylinder engine is buttery smooth at startup and remains so. There is no way passengers within the vehicle will be bothered by it. The motor offers a lot of grunt too and as a result zipping past traffic is no big deal. Just a little tap on the accelerator is enough to complete the overtaking maneuver. It is also immensely capable while on the cruise. The SUV wafts along like a luxury yacht and keeps passengers within rather happy. But the most interesting thing is that the new engine offers ample zest to turn the driver into a hooligan and that too without making it very evident. Of course, in this mode, the Q7 lowers the suspension to be as aerodynamic as possible and this helps it to chase the horizon. What we liked even more is the ride quality. The suspension absorbs every form of undulation with ease and this ensures that the passengers within remain comfortable. The additional bonus comes in form of the height adjustability which the Q7 offers. Now even the biggest speed humps cannot scrape the underbody of the Q7. Last but not the least, the steering has been tuned to be light but offers ample feedback to the driver. In all honesty, I personally have always been a fan of Audi steering setups as they are neither too heavy nor overtly assisted. Just perfect. Overall then, the new Q7 is sure to be a proper contender in this class. <laughs>